all right dudes and dudettes welcome back to all the mods nine guys we actually have updated the server quite a bit since uh the last episode let's see does it show it here um no but we are on all the mods nine version 0.0.25 that's right and what that means is we now have a couple new shiny mods that have been updated to uh, 1.20, which is really cool. Uh, for instance, we have Create, which is a uh, favorite in the community. Uh, the large water wheel that looks. Oh, oh, they have, we have a large one. That's interesting. Very cool. Um, yeah, we have that. Uh, I know that refined storage is now in here. Sorry, ref whoop. Find storage. If you uh, don't like to uh, think a lot, uh, you can use refined storage. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we set up this last uh, episode, and unfortunately, it's just not producing enough power. I'm having to resort to using these guys, um, which is a bummer. Um, they just use charcoal, and two of these. At 60 RF per tick is producing more than our whole system. I actually only need one of these. Um, yeah, which is unfortunate. But another cool thing that was added is the power mod. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and make some furnator here. Um, I want to go ahead and make the starter one. Um, sorry, not the starter, but the basic one. I guess that's supposed to produce a decent amount of power. And then we're going to get some resources for it as well so let's get all these in here uh, i'm gonna start by making another botany pot um totany bot make a couple of these all right and we got a hopper botany pot here we can grab some sand and another great thing that they've added here is drawers so we're gonna make a oak drawer here very good this is our first one so far uh, and then we're gonna throw this here and we will start producing cacti. So I'm um, going to smelt these two down. We got lots of bricks. Um, I thought I had some logs smelting, but we don't, which is okay. Um, I also want to go ahead and make some warped drawers because um, I like the look of these drawers better. So we got 36 of them. That might have been too many. Um, we don't have that much essence, but we do have enough to actually, we can just turn this into farmland. Whoops, uses. Oh, come on. There we go. So we have the Produtium farmland. Uh, we wanna make some coal seeds, um, but let's see about making some of these guys. Blaze powder. All right, I need to go find some lava. I know a spot where we can find a lot. We got a boss zombie here. He's a little scary. He's dead. All right, so lava obtained. Very good. Um, so now we should be able to make a little bit of this. All right, there's the four of those that we need. And yeah, now we can make the basic capacitors. Oh, now we're at redstone. Oh no. Okay. So we gotta make some of these guys. Right. We'll make those. You can take half. Turn them into that. Cool. We got that taken care of. And then we need the starter furnator. Um I think we only need two of those. Yep. Cool. And then we can upgrade it. All right, so let's let's have a look here. I'll just place it like this. A stack of charcoal. Okay. So furnator. I don't really know a whole lot about these. I don't really don't mess with that. Do I have any books? I do. Or I have a bookshelf. We can turn it into books. Good. All right. So we got some stuff on the sides. How does this work? So we're only producing 80. Um, generator generates like fuel. Oh, higher tiers generate more effort per tick. Drop it. They also burn fuel faster. Same energy. Oh, max extract. I thought it could potentially get up to there. 
Okay, so Furnator is a little bit better than the coal generators. So I guess what we should end up doing is making some coal seeds. Oof, we're running really low on essence. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to do some farming at the Skelly Farm. Haven't been here in a bit. So I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit and get some essence and we'll head on up. Okay, so I have the required amount of Inferium now, which is good. Um, yes, yeah, so we should be able to make two more. Very nice. Uh, do I have any coal left? Oh, I'm out of coal. Okay, so the strip mine that we have had quite a few veins, so I went ahead and grabbed those. Um, so we need some seeds. We need some prosperity shards. Good. We are going to be getting into bees here pretty soon, um, but not not quite yet. All right. So while that's while that's brewing up, um, we can take all of this stuff out of our inventory for now. Oh, I needed the drawers. All right. So the seed is done. Uh, now I want to go ahead and we can move this torch to here. I'm going to put this guy here, hopper botany pot, uh, produtium, and coal seeds. And now we just let this grow. Uh, the cool thing is we have four slots down here. So the um, all the items will have a chance to go. And then once we start getting more coal seeds uh, from our coal seed, I will go ahead and put more of these out. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll line up like this all with coal seeds so we can have all of the power the mo power baby got lots of those should be able to make quite a few botany pots one how much iron do i have left um quite a bit actually all right look at that we got 16 more hopper botany pots which is awesome so eventually we'll fill all those up with like coal seeds um but yeah we got to do some afking now uh, so I'm going to go back down to the mob farm, get some more Inferium Essence, and see if we can get some more coal seeds going. But yeah, I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, guys, so some time has passed since the last uh, recording here. Uh, I've got the botany pot set up. I've got a bunch of coal essence generated, and I've also got all of these guys rocking and rolling as well. Uh, so we do have quite a bit of coal essence. We can go ahead and set this up to automatically wow that was like the perfect amount um but uh, to automatically craft and to process um there it is oh wait i don't think i have ah there we go sound is back so as you can see we have a significant amount of coal which is great for us moving forward um because i we did we make the furnator? We did. Okay. So let's have a look here. That goes in there. Good. Um, we have ender chests. Yes, we do. Okay. So we've recently updated to 0.0.26 is the latest version as of the recording of this video. Um, and let's see here. They have added... They've added a harvest with ease, range pumps, bad wither, no cookie, reloaded, journey map, uh, which is why our map looks a little bit different on the right, a journey map integration. Uh, they removed the other map, world map they had, and then added uh, refined storage, requestify, requestify, however you say it. So um, yeah, the pack is definitely coming along very good. Also, there's a uh, word of Ender IO being released in 1.20.1, which is crazy. So <clears throat> that's something to look forward to. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy rocking and rolling. We're going to need some pipes. Um, I do have a pipe upgrade in here. Perfect. So I'm going to take all of the pipe things and we can bring them down into one, one of these. So I'm going to break all of these. We're going to switch all these to chests. 
Okay, so we're going to utilize a RF Tools Crafter. We're only going to use the Tier 1 because we only need one recipe here. Um, I'm actually going to move this one over to the other side. All right. And then we'll put the warped drawer here. And then we're going to take all of the items out of here and move them to this guy. So I do need to grab the pipe wrench. All right, and so they should all be ready to go. Pulling out there. I do this. Yep, okay. That's working. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is take this and we will place this here. Do one of these. Set the filter to only be the essence. Yep, there we go. And then we click here, hit uses, hit that, apply. So when it gets eight, it'll do that. Um, we also need to grab some pipes for power. Yes, there we go. All right, and I guess we'll just connect it in like this. So now this has got power. Once these guys grow, they'll be good to go. Um, and then I guess, well, we're going to actually do this. And then we're going to take the Furnator. And put it over here. Like a so. We can take out. And one of these should be close. All right. And then as you can see, we are putting coal into that so this will fill up and then these will all fill up and then we'll be ready to go actually what we could do is set up a drawer in between to put all of the the coal into here's our drawer that we're going to set up so we're going to place this here we're going to take that out and oh, not that we'll put coal in here do one of these so we do have a little backlog of coal that we can produce. Yep. And then we take this guy and we pull out power from the back and that pumps into here. This is input on all sides. So now we have just automated power using car carbon. And if we wanna make a couple more of those, we easily, easily can. Uh, I'd like to make a second one because that's, yeah. So we'll make two of these this time. Okay. There we go. All right, we can make an additional two. That gives us the basic. And boom! So now we have a total of three of these guys that are going to be filled up with coal. And so I can get rid of these. And just take a whole bunch of coal with me and load those up. Good. All right, so we got one. Oh. All right, so the coal is filled. And then we can take this and this and this and this. And we can pull power out the back. And let's see. So if this is generating. Um, where do you see where it's generating? 80 FE per tick. So we're generating 240 FE per tick through this thing. Um, yeah, I say that is awesome. So that'll, that'll keep us rolling for a while here, which is very cool. And then we also have all this extra coal that we can now use to craft or to smelt items. Um, yeah, I would say we can add another couple of chests back here. So one, two, three. Oh. Like so, we've got quite a few of the botany pots, and then we can just just connect them like this, so that way we have even more power coming through. All right, cool. So all of these guys are now filled up and pumping into uh, this here. Um, so yeah, that should that should do us a, a really big solid. 
Uh, and I think we'll eventually get a void upgrade on that. I don't know if I have any more obsidian left over to make a void upgrade. Oh, we do. Cool. Okay. This will be good. Okay. So a void upgrade will allow us to continuously want to like never get backed up on seeds or other farmland. Like it'll always, sorry, other essence. It'll always have enough in here. So yeah, we are producing a significant amount of power with these. And I do believe we'll be able to upgrade these even more if we wanted to and come several blocks this way or something like that. So very cool and very future proof. Um, one more thing I want to go ahead and do is see if we can do any upgrades for the bees, um, the beehive, see if they can produce more because we're going to be getting into that here really shortly. I'd like to actually next episode. Um, so let's look at productive bees. They have these upgrades here. Upgrade base, uh, honey treat. Yeah, we're missing. We've got the honeycomb and spades. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Oh, you're not friendly. Arr. You're crazy. Okay, so because we have that power generating, um, we should be able to produce a little bit of honey now. Like, we, sh we don't actually need to produce any honey. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that. So it's going to keep compacting it. We're not going to be producing any honey power now, but we are going to be getting our honey bottles back, which is amazing. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, geez. Right outside my door. But yeah, with our new power system, this should never go offline again, unless we you know, are cranking too much power out of this guy. Uh, but we should be good to go. Let's have a look here. Say goodbye to this guy. Was it only him? Are they... Hmm. He seems to be gone. Anywho, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.